everyone. Um, right, I've got to show. I did say I got the die, the gate. So this is the one that I got today. I treated myself. Uh, this is called the estate fence. 100% steel craft die. Can use on cardstock, felt, fabric, shrink plastic. Cut, stencil, emboss and create. Okay, so this is it. And it's from memoryboxco.com. And that's the gate. So, the only thing I don't like about these is they are so, so thin. Mm, that's the only thing I don't, because you, as long as you can get them out properly, I don't mind. <laughs> um, but they are thin. I wish they'd do them where you can cut them with thick chipboard, because that would be absolutely fantastic. Never mind. I'll have to see what Judy and Pete can do for us. You're looking, Judy, something like that. Well, you can't do the same, obviously, but you can do it on it. <laughs> right. Um, oh, that's just a coop and curb thing. Now, I also picked these up on um, eBay. And they are, they are, they are, the skeleton charms. And I just thought, they were quirky, and I don't like the way it's hanging itself, but <laughs> I just thought they were quirky. So, you know, the uh, reason why I got so many, I bought two bags of them, was because I want to start giving them out in some kits. Plus, I've got some friends that I want to send some to as well. So, um, I'm quite chuffed with them. Um, the, it's great when you're doing Halloween and things like that. And I know Halloween is very close, so... I'm just going to pop them all in one bag. And and then I've got something to show you. Not finished. I'm going to finish it. Oh, I'll get a bigger bag. Here, here's a bigger bag. Let me get a bag. Well, these new bags I bought, you can hardly get into them. <laughs> so there you go. They're in there. They can go in the bin. So um, I will be giving those out in kits, etc. Now, I know I'm dying to get tucked into what Jim sent me, some of, you know, some of the things Jim sent me, but I do have commitments, to, and I want to get them finished. So what I've done, and don't laugh, do you remember when I showed you the stand for the uh, candlestick? <laughs> now, it's not finished, not finished at all, but I did manage to get the look I was after. Now I just need to paint it all. And remember I used eight pieces of wire, twisted it all round. I, since then I then glued on some rope and twisted that round to give it that effect, you know, the ribbed effect. Um, I have heightened it slightly because that's got to go and fit in with all the other things that I've made. I have put the candles on using the discs from Judy and Pete, Crafty Emblies. You, uh, also these discs, not that one. And look, I actually managed to get the candles to drip. <laughs> um, so I've got to paint these bars and all of this and all of that um, and then that's going to be have some rub and buff on it um, and that's going to be finished I think I don't know yet we'll see because I, what I was thinking of doing is adding on another arm just there. I don't know yet. With um, like a, lan a lantern that you can carry about. So it can go back on there and then when it's finished with and then be carried about. I'm not sure yet. I will wait and see. But what I did like was the fact that I could get the candles to actually drip. So I hope you can see that. Just put a bit of card behind it. Might be better. I'm not sure if you can see it. Are they dripping? See? Um, so I hope you like that. And all it is, using the glue stick uh, and the wick, making the wicks. So I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.